Thank you for joining us again. Today we'll talk about insurance with the Executive Chairman, LIB Insurance Brokers Limited, Dr. Olushola Oluwoye. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. I'm happy to be on your show today. Good to have you on the show. Thank you. Now, one would wonder why you chose to go into this kind of business because we know the apathy uh, towards insurance in a country like Nigeria and you chose to delve into such business. What inspired you to go into it? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and I think your first question is quite very interesting. Uh, why the decision to delve into insurance? Uh, there's a general saying uh, that the more luxury you look for, the more risk you are exposed to. Uh, Nigeria happens to uh, be a country which uh, is ranked to be number 52 in the world when it comes to insurance penetration. And uh, above that, uh, it's also important to note that if we are going to turn the fortune of Nigeria around, we need insurance uh, to be able to achieve uh, this very objective. Uh, number three, it is important to also note that insurance should be a way of life. It's not something that uh, people should uh, run away uh, from. Uh, as much as we have embraced banking in this part of the world, it's important we also embrace uh, insurance uh, because we all need to pull our resources together to build the economy. It's not something to be done only by one sector alone, but it's something that has to be what? Collected. So what would you say is responsible for this apathy or hesitation when it comes to uh, insurance in Nigeria? Okay, um, I want us to consider that question from two uh, perspectives. Uh, a whole lot of Nigerians uh, uh, will say, I know what insurance is. However, when it comes to understanding the terms, the benefits, and how to go about securing an insurance, they are not aware. So I, I will describe it as an education challenge, meaning that they don't really have an in-depth understanding of how insurance work. Who is responsible for educating Nigerians? Okay, there are a lot of principal key stakeholders in the insurance industry. Uh, one of the ways uh, I believe that we could uh, help education should start from uh, having it in our curriculum, uh, just like the way we start business study with banking, learning about banking from primary, secondary school. Same way we can do that for insurance and get people to be more knowledgeable Mm. So insurance. it should start from the basics. It should start from the basics. Mm. Because uh, if we are going to use it as a major medium uh, to turn around the economy, it is something that everybody has to be involved. It's not only meant for middle level or top level people. It's something that everybody has to generally accept. Uh, if we go into any trade or go into any transaction, we must make sure that there's an insurance word element uh, to that transaction. Uh, one of the things that has happened in any other part of the world is that you will notice that um, uh, insurance business own banks, uh, but it's the other way around here in Nigeria, mm. where banks are the ones that owns insurance company. Mm. Uh, it's like you taking a life assurance policy. Average Nigerians don't understand what it means to have We, a we will insurance. definitely delve into okay. the types, but let's talk about the things that you can insure first off. Okay, now there are two ways you can go about insuring. Uh, you can insure what we call insurable assets. So we call it uh, a form of general insurance. Uh, asset, your property, uh, you can insure against uh, theft, uh, you know, you can insure against uh, any form of loss that might have, you know, occur. Uh, there's something we call consequential uh, loss. Maybe uh, you have a fire outbreak and uh, you are unable to continue doing your business for a period of time, so there's an interruption. And during the course of that interruption, the, the profit you are meant to make and then, you, you know, insurance company will be able to what, compensate you. You can take on credit insurance in case of default. Uh, you can take on motto insurance policy. To default in what? Now, credit default in the sense that maybe uh, the, you know, the, 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 borrower. The, the borrower is unable to settle on, on you know, on the obligation Loan. on the due date. So, so that, 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 that is another form of insurance that can uh, take place. That so, makes sense because that should take care of all of these uh, Ponzi schemes or all of these people who are the, what do they call them now? Loan sharks 
who eventually start sending names of people and their contact details to people, diminishing or, or tarnishing their image. I, I'm very happy that you are very aware of that going on. Uh, and that's one of the challenge with education. Uh, uh, the depth of insurance in Nigeria when it comes to credit is very, very low. And that's why this economy has not been well stimulated with the use of credit because there's no protection in that area. Most insurance companies in Nigeria hardly offer a proper credit insurance. Rather, they just want to provide what we call credit life on the back of the life, not necessarily to protect any form of credit transaction. Mm. And if you see, uh, look for example, NDIC, Nigerian Deposit Insurance uh, Corporation, who is meant to cover uh, deposits we have in banks account. Mm -hmm. What is the maximum limit of cover we have? Mm -hmm. uh, it's in the range of about 50,000 Naira. That's the maximum you can get back, you know, in mm -hmm. case any bank uh, goes into default. That is very, very low. But for this credit insurance, does it mean they would ensure that they get the money back or how does it work? So now this is the way it works. Now, if for every credit transaction, there's an insurance policy on the back of it, it means that before the insurance company would take on to underwrite such a business, you need to understand the way the transaction is going to flow, the dynamics of the transaction. You will be interested in knowing that who are the key parties, how is the cash going to come in, and how is the cash going to what to go out. But because of this lack of knowledge, most insurance companies are running away from providing credit insurance because they are not ready to invest time into it. Yeah, but, but, but my question is, for instance, I borrow money from a loan shark. The loan shark has gotten credit insurance, right? Now, what is the role of that credit insurance in ensuring that I pay back the loan I've collected? So now, very good example you have given. You collected money from a loan shark. The loan shark is asking that, oh, I need to put a credit insurance on this policy. You know what that means? You pay something extra to protect the loan shark in oh. case you're unable to pay. Okay. So an average Nigerian will tell you, my interest rate is already high. Why are you asking me to pay additional, you know? But, but if I don't payment? pay back, I'm also not paying the extra. So we are doing, you know, bad to the economy. If on both sides, we, we just want to gain and we are not ready to, you know, to pay any price for it. Mm. So it has to be both parties to understand that there is need to have a protection. And that's why we're having a lot of bad loans because there's no credit protection on the other side and it means that we're but just you're still not convinced me that the credit insurance would ensure that i pay back the loan i've collected now how, how will it work and that's what i'm saying that the the loan shark who is giving you the loan is demanding of you that i need a protection i need a top party company mm. to guarantee that you will do the transaction the way it should go mm. that company back. will have ensured that they have tested your cash flow, they've tested your character, they've ensured that there's collateral before they go ahead and provide me an insurance. Okay. But because we don't want to go through, we are not long-term people. Okay. Okay. We just want to do everything, short, short transaction. We just want to make the money and move on. That is what is challenging insurance. Mm. We need to all, all stakeholders all need to all invest into understanding how insurance works. Mm. How expensive is insurance? I'd like to know that. And I also like to, I'm curious, how do you make money from this kind of business where a lot of peop people do not really believe in? How do you convince people to invest or to insure uh, whatever is their lives, their property? How do you get money? How lucrative is the business? Okay, now, uh, thank you very much for that question. Uh, just like I mentioned earlier that in every other part of the world, uh, be it in the Europe, in America, and even South Africa, uh, insurance company owns banks. Uh, but it's the other way around in Nigeria. And you've seen a lot of Nigerian banks post huge profit. Uh, same way, insurance companies also post profit, but the volume might not be as much as what we see uh, within the banking industry in Nigeria. Uh, insurance business is highly profitable business. Why? Uh, because even in Nigeria. in Nigeria, accidents don't get to happen every day. So uh, there's a whole lot of accumulation of capital, and such capital are made into what investment. 
and this investment uh, from year to year continue to work to appreciate and then it brings about what we call financial stability uh, within a system. Uh, you've seen insurance companies own quite a lot of assets. You've seen quite a lot of insurance companies even owning oil assets in Nigeria.